this really is a significant update, isn't it, from the police themselves? Absolutely. It's a key development in the hunt for Olivia Pratt, Corbell's killer today. Police have now said that two guns were used in the shooting and have released this CCTV footage. So the man leading the investigation believes that this is the man that killed nine-year-old Olivia. And the police believe releasing this footage may jog the public's memory and help identify him. So as you can see on your screen, the gunman can be seen running away from the scene wearing a black padded jacket and a black balaclava. Now, speaking at a press conference earlier today, the detective chief superintendent has said that this man is toxic and, again, is appealing to the public to come forward with any information they may have. This man is toxic. He is toxic to our communities. And if you're protecting him, he's toxic to you and your family. I want you to place the loyalty that you have towards your family above the loyalty that you may have to this man. Some stern words from the police there, but they are also searching for a second man, aren't they, who was in the neighbourhood at the time? Yes, absolutely. Uh, another man is, uh, is, is, is also being uh, on the hunt as well. He was caught on a doorbell camera, this time near the junction uh, of Olivia's Road, in this distinctive white hooded jumper. Again, the police are urging the public to come forward with any information. Now, part of that inquiry uh, today is the police are working around the clock, of course. Forensic officers have long been scouring the area up and down. Today, we now know that two guns uh, were used. One in the the chase shooting and then another uh, gun was used by the gunman that went into uh, Olivia's house killing Olivia and injuring her mother that same gun is believed to have been used uh, on the man inside the property as well now as for the community it's 10 days on now the community is still uh, very much in grief very much in shock and still at this point with no one being charged they're still waiting for justice okay Shadia, thank you very much